Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Patty Kills here. I am back with a brand new NHL 19 video. Today's video, I'll be telling you guys how to basically make a good team. How, you know, how to, how to get like 83 overall pluses on your team for cheap and not even paying money in this game. Right now, I have not spent any money on this, uh, on this game except for obviously buying the uh, Legends Edition. I haven't spent a dime on this game and I'm planning to not spend money. I probably will end up spending money maybe when Team of the Year comes out, but for now I'm not. And I have a pretty good team and um, I made a video, How to Make Coins. So if you if you haven't checked that, if you're just starting off hot, I want you guys to pause this video. Go check out my How to Make Coins video. It'll be on the top right eye icon right now and it'll also be in the link in the description. Go check that video out because in that video, I give you guys some important tips. All right, guys. So. I'm thinking all you guys watched that video and that video talked about when you need to do your solo challenges. You know, I'm so like used to calling them solo challenges. They call it hut challenges. You need to do your hut challenges. Um, after you do your hut challenges, do a lot of the, uh, of those challenges. Get to like 10. My recommendation is get 10k at least, but the more the better. Like I got to like 15,000 coins by doing those challenges. Get 10 to 20k at least and start working the market. And this year, if you see any car that is 2K or under in gold rares at the 59 minute mar uh, mark, you want to snag those players because gold rares right now are going for, uh, right now we're recording this video, they're going for 2,300 plus right now. And obviously the market changed. Just a, uh, two days ago, gold rares were going for uh, 2,500. Then when NHL 19 officially dropped, they, they went down 2K, now they're up to 2.3K uh, coins. So if you ever see like, 59 minute you're always gonna find steals you have to be really quick i've missed on a bunch of steals man it, it pisses me off like 59 minute is just you gotta grind that market like you're not gonna get every single steal you may only get one steal every what, three minutes but it is the best way to make coins especially when you're starting out your team this is also really good to get good players on your team good good 83 overall players for cheap I'm talking about your Taves. Taves is like 5K right now, 4K. He's very cheap. Matt Duchesne, probably one of the best cards in the game. I got a Duchesne for 2,000 coins on the market. I sold him for 6K. Duchesne is a sick card. I'm pretty sure Duchesne's price is 4,000 or 5,000 right now. He's another sick card you want to have on your team. But when you do these methods, you'll easily get good consistent players i'm talking you can even find guys like blake wheeler going for 5k because what people are doing is people are opening up packs whatever they get in those packs they're just selling that on the market and a lot of people just without and this is what i love about no last price sold and obviously i see a lot of people saying last price sold they should bring that back i don't think they should bring that back because you know you really got to look at the market and see how much stuff is selling for or you're going to lose profit and a lot of people they're really lazy they're not going to check the market it's going to sell a player for this amount and that's how you can find some steals um that's huge for, for making a good team and also making coins um i'm gonna have i'm this is where the video is gonna end i this is a short video just explaining the 59 minute method i'm pretty sure everybody knows this method i mean it's the most this method is gonna work every single year forever it's that good um, also, I would try doing three hour, the three hour method, the six hour method. Those methods do work sometimes too. Also, the thing is, the goalie market's weird in this game. Currently, when the when the game was at E access state of the game, goalies were very rare to get find in packs, and the goalies were going for a lot. And then once NHL 19 came out, the goalie market has kind of shifted down. So I might make a whole another separate video talking about the goalie market and stuff, how to make coins off that. Uh, before doing this video, you also want to go check out your gold collectibles and stuff like that. Gold collectibles right now are going for 18,000 coins. So that's pretty good. I mean, you can also like trade in silver collectibles for gold collectibles and always check the market. If you see a gold collectible for going 14 to 15, even 16K, snag that gold collectible, restock it up for 18K because that's what the price is. And you can easily make so many coins on these gold collectibles. So I'm going to make a full video probably tomorrow or maybe Friday talking about uh, the best team to have. It's going to be my first team build video. I'm going to have that soon. So drop a like, turn the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great fun today. Peace.